Hey guys, welcome back. Tomorrow is the four attribute event and I quickly wanted to show you the list that I will play there and uh, I think is one of the strongest. Uh, other honorable mentions are um, Fleur and Reese. I think Fleur and Reese will see a lot of play. You can also build kind of a sword soul deck. And then again, this Adamancipator version, uh, which has most of its core cards intact, but not all of them. Um, so I think Flanderese may be the strongest, not quite sure, but don't have it on the main account here. And also I'm not the biggest fan of playing it because it um, creates extremely long chains that are not like chains that I need to think about something, but uh, only chains that need to resolve, so that's not very interesting for me. So without further ado, what will I play in the event tomorrow? I think you can definitely play uh, some sort of an Emancipator list. The good thing about an Emancipator is that this is quite a cheat deck. As you can see, uh, they are triple Maxi, triple Ash, the cards uh, you will probably already have, also called by the Grave times two. And this is a fun one, Sekka's Light, if you have no spell straps in your deck, because obviously you only have these and these in your graveyard, sorry. Draw two cards for the rest of this duel. After you activate this card, you cannot activate spell trap cards or effects except Sekka's Light. And then you can banish this card from a graveyard, reveal monst uh, one monster in your hand, shuffle it into the deck and then draw a card. So basically this is something like a pot of greed. And if you are running uh, just a few spell and trap cards, this can definitely work. As you can see, we have a lot of monsters here. Other than that, there are some super rares, but you could cut down on the super rares and maybe put another rare in or maybe another dropsy if you want to. Could also put another gigantus in. That could also be possible. Tackle Crusader and Revival Golem. So you could even make this list more cheap by substituting a few of the super rares. But the cool thing about the Emancipator deck is that this is quite a strong deck that you can play, I think, until a Diamond 1. Maybe not in the current format, but in formats to come. This will also get cool support in the future, so obviously this is like a pretty safe craft for the future and you only need a bunch of super rares, then you have this one ultra rare that you do, no, don't need two of, but I have two of them at Emancipate Arisen. This you need for the deck, then you need this super rare, and yeah, the other cards are basically staple cards, I would say, like Chen Ying, Baron, and stuff like the Upper Loser. I put the Black Luster Soldier in because this is Earth. Um, the sprite elf and then the other cards are again super rare rarity so uh, all in all this is a super cheap deck you have like the coral dragon here which you can draw a card with this one can excavate more you have the crimson blader uh, which is pretty strong and um, may also bans your opponent from summoning uh, level 5 higher monsters on their next turn obviously baron you have the abyss dweller which you can use against graveyard tactics Gallant Granite, uh, not that important in here when the Block Dragon is missing, but uh, you will still use this to search for the Earth Monsters. And then, yeah, the rest is pretty clear. With your Elf, you can then revive your researchers, who can then search for other researchers and so on. So I think this will be one of the strongest decks uh, right beside Flon I guess. But we will see how this crystallizes out. I think this is a deck um, and you could as I already said, substitute here and there. It, it does not have to be exactly this list. Um, yeah, I think you will be able to run uh, through the event without any problems by using this deck list. You could also play Flounderies if you have it. Could also build a, a strange Sword Soul deck, which I think uh, can also work, but will not be as strong as this deck. Uh, so for those of you who are asking me who, what are these cards, I will just run through them in uh, a fast session. We have Triple Maxi, we have Doki Doki 3, we have Prank Kids Drops is 1, Adam Emancipator Seeker, Adam Emancipator Researcher, uh, 2, Carthohin, the hidden gem of the sea front. Okay, they couldn't have come up with a longer name, right? Ash Blossom, three, two Gigantes, three Kokamairo Guardian, one Revival Golem, one Tech Crusader, three Prank Kids Roxies, two Adamantipeter Analyzer, three Kokamairo Supplier, three Rock Band Xeno Guitar, two Zekka's Light, two Called by, one Coral Dragon, one Adamantipeter Risen Reptite, one Crimson Blader, two Adamantipeter Risen Dragite, one Baron, one Shen Ying, one Abyss Dweller, this you don't necessarily need one gallant granite one uh, prank it's meow meow mew prank it's doodle doodle do or something like that one uh, or two sprite elf uh, one black lesser soldier and one upper loser bow of the goddess so that's it 
pick the list up if you want and uh, let's see how fast we can finish the event i'm always one for finishing the events fast i only want the rewards i like to play in the ranked ladder i don't really enjoy these events i like the dueling uh, or duelist cup because of this basically was ranked ladder uh, and I'm also looking forward for the World Championships qualifier, but more to that in the future. So this is the deck list. Take it, take it to the event, enjoy, and we will see each other in the next video.